Tonight, from Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. Thank you. On a cold night at the foot of the Rockies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the New England Patriots and the Denver Broncos. And off we go from Denver. On oh, the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him. And you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident that he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Alex Singleton, a former Canadian League star, in on the stop. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead in the chains, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. They'll run for the first time with Pierre Strong. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the pick up, first down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Jones will sneak it. And he 
gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and in inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. And throw right side complete to Parker. Touchdown! Devontae Parker, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Pats put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They're going out of the field by their quarterback, a man who's made quite the name for himself in the NFL, and that's Russell Wilson. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 26. Now Wilson. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So certainly a defensive mistake here in the first quarter, getting hit with a roughing the passer call. And that hurts not just because of the yardage you gave up and give them a fresh set of downs, but that brought the home crowd into this one. And when you go on the road, your job is to silence the crowd, not energize them. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. This is Williams. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Wilson. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. On second down, Williams. Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. So on fourth down, the Broncos send Corliss Waitman out to punt. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second 
throwing Jones. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark it down at the 49. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. What a luxury to have a tight end that can run a post route like that. It's a luxury for the offense. It's an extreme luxury for the quarterback. Always has a great outlet and usually able to come up with a nice play down the middle of the field. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, but, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Yeah, boy, that's going to be close. He didn't get much at all there, but he got the first. Looked like they might have held him defensively, but the referee signals it will be a first down. On first and ten, it's strong. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. You no, know, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. 14 nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Folk out there now to kick this one off. Seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Eluding the pressure right. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. They'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain night, and it's a good one. And a fair catch call. 
called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. High throw, but the catch is made. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense defenders have to react and they often slip they scored touchdowns on drives one and two and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start they'll run with montgomery and he's going to ball his way down to about the one yard line 55 rushing yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Lot and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Travis Kelsey punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's Corliss Waitman now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Ty Montgomery and the offense getting set for their next drive. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Now a dump off here complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about 
and six across the 30 to the 31. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really change. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. D.J. Jones with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fix. Touchdown, Broncos! J.J. Hamler, 49 yards. And the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. McManus's point after is good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Takes it at the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 77 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Jones now throwing on first down. And right side, Henry's got it. No gain on the play. And it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And Henry's hit. He lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. This complete to Henry over the middle. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Jones keeping it on the sneak. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
Well, that play seemed well scouted defensively. They collapsed everything inside. Nowhere to go on the quarterback sneak. Now it's going to bring up fourth down. Going with her tight end on fourth. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And the Broncos are in great shape here. Six-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. Second down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. from just shy of midfield. Wilson finding Sutton on the out route who makes the catch. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Wilson now to throw on third down. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Fourth down, here's Wilson. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Joe Juan Williams. And the Patriots are going to take over here up near the 40. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out. To bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Now a play fake here on first down. Open man, the tight end Henry. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. But I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another. So that challenge is a successful one. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams looking for a gift on Christmas Eve. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rocky Mountain snow looks like it's going to continue through the second half as we are back underway in Denver. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. 
Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in corner three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. punt of 38 yards officially and they will take over first and 10. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. To Montgomery to begin the drive and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Jones. And this is Parker, complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Back to throw, Jones. Caught, Kelsey, left side. On the move past the 40. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Patriots will get a new set of downs. Now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. They'll run with straw, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. two yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead just power football there down near the goal line give it to him he's able to push his way across yeah they went heavy there sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible but all they're doing is getting a good stance blocking and getting their runner across the goal line Five plays there on that drive. And it was Pierre Strong who finished things off with a touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Denver offense at the line ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Juwan Bentley. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception. They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. From the 22, Jones. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't get in. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ty Montgomery, 22 yards. And the Patriots take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. 
So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far, and that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Matt Judon drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. The Broncos send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here's Jones on the return. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Jones on first and 10. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Back to throw now on first down. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos' 26. 127 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 15-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. Yeah, Stars have certainly done all they've needed to in this one, haven't they? But my question is, will he be able to resist the urge to continue to run things up a bit and get his main guys a few bonus stats before he calls them off the field? On second down and four, Jones. And he fires one incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the 
the sideline as he could not come up with a football. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts. How the game looks on paper. On third down, Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. The Broncos send out their punter now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll leave him with a third and two. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Running the ball served them well all game long, and there's another example as they pick up a first down. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 49-yard line. 49-49. Looking to throw. Jones. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Throwing on second and long. Jones. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Back to throw. Jones. He gets it into the arms of Parker. Complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. 
But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Throwing on second down, Jones. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains on Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Throws left side complete. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. And in almost all of them, both offenses put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Flush to his right. And it's smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has it up for the first. Add the game here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Escaping the pressure right. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has it up for the first. A good pick up there, 21 yards. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a third down. Throwing is Wilson. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Williams will take it in. Touchdown, Denver. It's CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about here. But it may be cliche, but give them credit for this. They've continued to fight and scratch and claw, and they get the touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And I'm okay with that cliche, all right? Maybe it'll alleviate the sting a little bit because at least they can look in the mirror and realize they fought all the way through. Horrible game for them, not one they'll want to remember, but at least they'll keep their heads up and have some pride when they leave the stadium. And his guys will get the football. the 20-yard line. Another go around now for the Patriot offense. 
But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive if they want to be here down the stretch and what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway meaning they want to continue to run their offense but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach hey i had to get them some work too i can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time and he slings one that's incomplete a cd they're up big but they're still passing it i mean this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game and it seems like they're just having fun out there and it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On the move to his left. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And he'll work it inside 30 to the 29-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, it, crazy. But they practice for that. On second and a couple. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he whips that one incomplete there this drive which was going so smoothly all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions yeah apparently this defense has had enough apparently they're saying no more we're speaking to stand right here right now but it is third and ten they get that one more time and he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line the folks kick is good and that will extend their lead even further So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Now the Patriots.
Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. To throw is Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. Yeah, and continue your theme about one team enjoying it. One fan base is enjoying it as well. The other fan base, they might disagree with what they've seen, but the one that's winning, they're certainly getting their money's worth. On second and goal, Zappi toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ty Montgomery with his second touchdown. Patriots continue to pour it on here in the fourth. But Charles, in this win, they've really just had one speed, and that's been all out. They're still driving the ball downfield despite the... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I'm not sure what other ground there is to cover here. I mean, this offense has been amazing. Just total domination, Charles. They've clicked so well. And if you really focus in on the offensive line, they protected well when they wanted to throw the ball. They've moved people off the line of scrimmage when they wanted to run it. Smiles all the way around. This offense has been really good in this one. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 34 yards that time. Wilson. Throw left side, taken in by Washington. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. To throw again on second down, Wilson. He'll drop this down to Williams, and they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw again is Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That goes out wide to Murray. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Wilson. 
Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Second down and goal. Wilson. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Matt Judon make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. On third and goal, Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Patriots get the football back. And they take a knee. So deep trouble here, backed up to their own one-yard line for second and long. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight-yard line. 215 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down, here's Zappi. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Just a formality now, but here's the extra point. And it's good, but it's also a little consequence as this game is over. side if you try to take away something positive from this game they played to the final whistle getting the touchdown there on the last play but still all for naught really yeah I'd say I'd say give them points for positivity I like that that part is good but I often wonder when the game is settled and the clock is run out do we really need to kick the extra point oh yeah it it's, just, it's it, silly it's it, silly it doesn't make any sense to me I know that people have explained before well you got to play it all the way through come on this thing was done For my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry, I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Denver, good night, everybody.